clean up, man. O2 Colombo. Hey, O2. Hey, O2, that Mike Colombo calling you. Hello, uh, Colombo calling you. I can't hear him. That's, that's, that's what happened with my ducks. You can't hear my ducks. That's what the deal is. Ain't no problem. All right, O2, take care. Jiggle over eating the mail. O2. Uh, stand by, but now, yeah, uh, Colombo on a tough team. He's trying to talk to you. O2, break. Yeah, who's calling me? Jiggle O, jiggle O, jiggle O, jiggle O. I don't hear you, man. Who you hear? Who you hear, O2? Who you hear, uh, Colombo? Hey, O2, who you hear? I hear that pain in the ass, ghetto superstar. Get on out of there, uh, oh, I don't know what the hell you call yourself today. Mike Grip or Grip Mike or what the hell you call yourself today. Good old Richie will do. What you call yourself today, Duck Plucker? Pistol Grip, Pistol Grip, Pistol Grip on and off this Duck Plucker. Grip these nuts. <laughs> I, I, I love you too. Yeah, he know I got it on YouTube. He know I got it. Ten to give you. I'm broke, baby. I took care of my 24 daily rumors. So I care about. Yeah, for I doing that. All right, grip, grip. Me and this barefoot coat. You know what? I'm gonna hook up that damn other radio. I'm gonna hook up that damn uh, that super links with that damn mic you gave me. See how it's working. Hey, hey, hey. You hear the videos? You hear the people talking to me on that radio? They didn't know what it was till after they seen the video, but. You, you got to check those six or seven videos when I got done with that Doug Plunger. Th thanks to Doc, man. The, the first time, I, I didn't realize that so the cap was dry as hell up my own. So when, when he said, nah, it's not clear. I'm looking, trying to figure out what's going on. And I just popped them off, threw some new gel up in them, and, you know, put them back together. And uh, there's the finished product. Go ahead. Yeah, let me plug that radio up now and see if it's talking. Hey, Grip, give me about five minutes. Let me plug that radio up right now. Please. They left talking. <laughs> Segundo, we're good, baby. I feel sorry for Gigolo. Hey, 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 Colombo. I think you were one of the guys giving me radio checks on that base station when I got done. Hey, hey ask that mud duck why he's feeling sorry for me. Ask him why he's feeling sorry for me. Ask him if you want to take a ride in that uh, brand new 2015. He said, you want to take a ride in this brand new 2015? <laughs> you think I'd be what? 
on a raggedy base station. Ask him, ask him if he want to smell the new leather. Hey, 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 Grip, ask that mud duck if he want to smell the new leather. <laughs> Listen, listen, I ain't getting in between y'all. I know what y'all do all day long. I'm out of it. I'm clear. I can't hear you. I can't hear And you didn't do Yahoo. Crazy, you better watch that chunk of your dog. Answer me this. How do you think that mud duck can't hear me? Well, uh, that tell you something must be wrong with his receipt. Hey, he coming back real soon, crazy. You hear a jiggle when I can't hear him, break. I don't know why you can't. I hear a jiggle real good. I don't know why he running the damn barefoot radio. I don't know what the hell he's doing that for. Yeah, he's barefoot. Because his coax is old and outdated and dry rotted and not really good for the power and his antenna's oxidized. He's got to, you got to take that down, clean it up, and throw some new cable on that. That's it. He can fly it down wind. What the hell do you mean my damn cable is dry rotted in my antenna? The you don't know what I'm doing over here. Don't speculate. Don't speculate. My damn cable is brand new. I just replaced the cable and it's a break. Last report I got last year was that you had to get new cable. That was it. I told you don't fly it down until you get it because, you know. Listen, I feel sorry for the guy. Go and help him. Listen, y'all all better live in fee. I don't get to redesign that base from the ground up because his little cow do it all. All it needs is my sound and efficiency behind it. It's a wrap. I was thinking of it. Could have been the other guy on the base. My bad. I feel sorry for uh, Colombo because he's got to sleep in his car. He can't go home. Don't let me get to Colombo's base station now. Don't, 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 don't let me pull a Richie move. He's not in the car, Gigolo. No problem. No problem at all. Gigolo, he's talking about the house. Nah, crazy can't fit you, Campinger. 
Crazy can't fit you better than Roy. Yeah, I've been like that ever since 1973. I've been talking about the radio since 1973. I was real about that then. Yeah, 410, shoot. Back then, let me see. I started out in 1974 or 75. And I came out with the handle Bad Boy. At the time, I was living in Brooklyn, so I was Brooklyn Bad Boy. And we had a little, a little click around uh, East New York Avenue, no doubt about it. But now, man, I can't even use bad boys. There's so many camp picking bad boys out this camp I can't even use my original handle there, are you? Man, we got about 60 bad boys over here. Got bad boy 139. Ain't been out here in a while. Got bad boy 815. Call it just bad boy number 8. And a couple other bad boys, man. Too many bad boys out there, right? I'm fine with Take Care Grease. Yeah, folks, in on that. Well, I don't care how many bad boys it is out there now. I'm still as hell, man. Just always remember the two the, the two finger rule, and you're good. Nice, loud, clear, nice, thing, uh, uh, steady carrier. I believe when I left it for you, I, I believe I left it to go either way. It could work as the radio, but it's set for the high drive. It's set to drive, man. It don't gotta, you know, you don't gotta go in there no more. It could rock any any app. Yeah, for uh, yeah, I'm gonna work this radio for a minute. Hey, uh. Hey, Grip, I'm going to leave this radio alive for a minute, man, see what it look like there. You know, it's only 23 channels, but uh, it is what it is, right? Peace. It's nice. Yo, yo, hey, Q-Tip. It's got 15 pills in it. Q-Tip. Fifteen pills in it. Well, anyway, he's he got a really uh, older base station like that, like uh, the Cornell Dubliere. I don't know if you've seen it on my video channel, but it looked pretty much like... Uh, like uh, a smaller version of a DAC-10. It's got the big three big meters on it, man. It's, it's about as old as that, man. The actual finals in them are pretty much the same, but I guess that was one of the first 40 channel drops he got. What? Hey, Richie Radio, you got, you got any contact on Q-Tip? Hey, Richie, I need to know if you can hear my radio, Richie Ray Ray. I could hear your radio. I was calling you, and uh, can you see you get Gigolo on there and that bad foot bass, man. That's like an old one like yours. Right now, Tempo. Yeah, Gigolo got a nice sounding bass, man. That motherfucker be that yo. That bass station Gigolo got, that thing is smoking, man. Something to put in here, Tempo. I was waiting for Jig to get back to you, man. Oh. Yeah, folks, in on that. Well, 
That's when you know your station talking, man. I, I can always throw some damn fire in the way. I got four or five boxes over here, Roger. Paul. Yeah, folks, you know that, man. I heard that. I sure did, man. Well, it's always good to have some bullets to put in the cotton picking chamber when it's time to there, Roger. Yeah, poor Roger, man. Well, I, I done been done that, man. I, I, I just got rid of one of my boxes over here. I have one of those, um, uh, what's that duck plug up in Connecticut, that built boxes? I have one of his boxes. I just got rid of it to one of my homeboys down here, man, because I couldn't run it no more, man. That thing was doing like about six, 7,000 watts in the base station, and I couldn't run it no more, man, because my neighbors would, would look at me funny when I come out the house, Roger. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I wish I would have known you when you had it. I would have took it off your hands, Captain. Yeah, poor Roger. Yeah, we just got rid of it, man. Uh, I had a foot pedal, everything with it, man. We just got a blade. That's what I had. I couldn't remember that for nothing. I had one of them blade boxes on a uh, uh, blade box for the house, right? Damn, Captain. Damn. You was pushing some, some flavor, Captain Bigger. You had flavor all in the air when you there, are you? Yeah, the plug. We used to sit out there and shoot skip all day, man, with that and that damn Joe gun, man. We used to shoot skip all day, get our name called all day, man, but at the same time, we was killing them neighbors, right? <laughs> That's why I ain't put up no beam yet. I'm working on the ground for you. I put up a beam, it's gonna be over there, Roger. Yep, all right, yeah. That's what I've been doing, man. I've been sitting out here like crazy. Get my name called on, on that damn flat side with the damn footy radio like crazy. Key up, that puzzle's come right back. You know, it's a mother nature thing, right? Yeah, so check. Oh, you on the flat side? Right. Well, right now I'm on the, on the vertical side. We just got our vertical hooked back up. But yeah, I got a four element Joe gun on the flat side. Damn, Cam, baby, you ain't playing no games, are you? I used to sit out here and shoot skip all day, that I used to be one of the number one stations in Brooklyn, break. Damn, Cam Bigger. You be a mean Cam I gotta watch you, Cam Bigger. You come out here, I gotta I gotta shut my station down. Yeah, but I had to give it a break, man.